Thank you for joining me today with Stampin' with Loretta. I am going to show you this very cute Creepy Pie Cuties from Queen Cat Design. This is a Christy Silva design and it's called Gothling One. Um, I will put her information on my blog um, which is MissRetta.blogspot.com. If you have questions, email me please at MissRetta at gmail.com and don't forget to leave comments here underneath the videos. Um, subscribe to me, I appreciate those and um, I appreciate feedback because art and stamping is always a learning process. So I have gone ahead and I have uh, stamped this image with the Memento Black ink and I've colored her in with Copic markers. Um, Chad, would you zoom in on the image, please? Okay, I'm hoping that you can just see the image and not too much of my hands, but in the image itself is a little bit of modeling. And the way I was able to achieve that with my Copic markers is I used a colorless blender pen and a uh, Kleenex. And um, I just took the Kleenex, put a little colorless blender on, and then dabbed it over the top. Okay, Chad, just go back to normal view. Okay, um, she has been colored with Copic markers, like I said, and she's been highlighted with C1 Cool Gray 1, so she has a little bit more depth of field. I've used a little bit of brown ink, as you saw when we first started filming, to kind of um, just darken up the edges, so she's not so stark white. Now that I've gotten the edges done, I'm going to come in with this, just a cosmetic sponge. I have one for every color of ink I own. And I'm just going to dab around her very slightly. A couple of reasons for doing this, like I said, number one, it takes away the starkness of this white cardstock. And so she is more of a Halloween themed image, in my opinion, um, than not. I like that grungy dark look for this type of stamp. Okay, I have gone ahead, like we have mentioned in one of our other videos, and I have cut out the pieces for this card. It's a standard card A2 base, and both of these pieces of paper measure five and a quarter by three inches. This one measures two and a half inches, and this one is three. And we're going to be laying, layering those onto our card in just a few minutes. Now, I'm going to show you how to cheat just a little bit. Let's just say you don't have a whole lot of cardstock left, but you need to have her on a little bit more of a base. Well, the best way you can do that is like this. We're going to put some tape on the back of this image and we're going to lay her on top of our scrap of black just like that. Okay, now we're going to bring our trimmer in. This is a Fiskars trimmer. I've had it for a long time. It's got a little wire in it. A couple of things about that wire is that wire delineates exactly where the blade is. So I know where the blade is. And there's approximately an eighth of an inch between this plastic piece and that wire. I'm going to go on and cut this out. And you can see that it's left a nice border for me. And I'm going to repeat it on this side. And so now, as you can see, all the way around the image, it's got an equal amount of black behind it. So it's a really good way to cheat. Now let's put this card together real quick. This is a sideful card, so we're going to use a little of our tape runner to put this together. Hopefully straight, since it needs to be straight. Alright, now this, little, this layer here. A couple of reasons I chose these colors is I liked the darker feel. Um, Queen Cat does have some more dark images. They're fun. Um, she has very whimsical images. Um, I'm looking forward to showing some of those to you guys in, in the next week or so. Um, she has another release coming out on the 19th. This one comes out tomorrow the 12th. And it is a release, a re-release, whatever, um, of this image. So go and pick up the stamp or any other stamps in her line and you will just love them. They are adorable. Um, to save lace, we're going to use the cheater method, and that means I'm going to cut the lace 
approximately a quarter inch on each side bigger than my card and I, I actually want it to face this direction. I'm going to open the card and take a little scotch tape, flip it and peek and tape it down. Come back over the top and straighten that out so it's nice and straight. Even though this doesn't have to be straight, it looks better if you do keep some symmetry in your work. Remember, do your best work. Um, be proud of what you do. Whether you're doing it for yourself or for someone else, you should always be proud of what you do. And if your tape doesn't cooperate with you, use your scissors. So it is, boss. Okay. That's really cute. And we're going to put her on top. She will get a greeting. I'm thinking of hi friend or even a ghoulishly yours for Valentine's Day. Um, something fun. But this is a very quick and easy card to do. I hope that you will try it. Um, and I hope that you'll continue to watch my videos. Visit Queen Cat Designs. It's a great place to go shopping. I love her stamps and I hope you will too. Thanks for joining me today with Stamping with Loretta. I look forward to seeing you next time when we'll do yet another video tutorial or maybe even show you some of the things I'm working on right now. Have a great day.